Hi there. Now, in this video, what I've got here is uh, an example for you to try. I'm assuming that you've looked at the previous videos on how to do questions like this. So, we've got here the integral of x squared multiplied by sine 3x. Integrate this with respect to x. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check the final solution, or I'll take you slowly through the method. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, to do this then, we have to use integration by parts. And in the previous tutorials, I showed you that this was the formula that we use. So, we nominate x squared to be the u. So I'll just put that then as u, and we nominate the sine 3x to be the dv by dx. And then according to the formula then, it's going to be equal to u, which is x squared, just put that in brackets, multiplied by v, v being the integral of dv by dx. So we've got to integrate sine 3x with respect to x, and that's going to be minus one-third cosine of 3x. And then it's minus the integral of v. So we've got v here, so we just copy that bracket back down again, so it's minus one-third then cosine of 3x. And we multiply this by du dx. So we differentiate u with respect to x, so u is x squared, and so that gives us 2x. And then put dx on the end, we're integrating with respect to x. Okay, so that's essentially that. We'll just get rid of the formula now, and we just need to tidy this up. So x squared times minus a third, that will look better as minus x squared then divided by 3. And then we got multiplied by the cosine of 3x. And then for this term here, let's take the constant first of all. We've got 2 times minus a third, so that's going to be minus 2 thirds. Then with this minus, it's going to be plus. And we'll put the constant out the front of the integral. It's easier to work with if you do that. And then it's going to be the integral of x times cosine 3x. So x cosine 3x. And this is integrated then with respect to x. So what we've got to do again here then is to do integration by parts. So we let this part here, x, be u. And cosine of 3x, that part there, is dv by dx. So all we need to do is copy this first term down again. So we'll just put equals minus x squared over 3, multiplied by cosine of 3x, and then put plus 2 thirds and a square bracket. OK, so that we can carry out the next integration by parts here. So according to the formula then, it's u. So OK, that's x times v, v being the integral then of cosine of 3x, which is going to be one-third sine of 3x. And then it's minus the integral of v, v being this value in the bracket here, one-third sine of 3x. And we multiply this then by du by dx. Well, if u was the x, then we just need to differentiate that, and we get 1. OK? Integrate that all with respect to x, and close off our bracket here. OK? Next, I'm just going to expand the bracket rather than carry out that integral here. So we've got minus x squared then over 3 cosine of 3x. And expanding the bracket here, we've got 2 thirds times a third, which is going to be 2 ninths. So we've got 2 ninths times the x. So I'm going to say that's plus 2x over 9. And then it's sine 3x. And then we've got plus 2 thirds multiplied with the minus 1 third here. Remember, the third can be 
brought out this integral. So that's going to give us minus 2 ninths. So we've got minus 2 ninths, and then we've got the integral of just simply sine 3x. So doing just small steps, I do think, is easier. Then next, just going to copy out these first two terms again, and then we'll look at doing that integral. So we've got here plus 2x over 9 then times sine 3x. Now doing this integral here, the integral of sine 3x is minus 1 third cosine 3x. So minus 1 third times the minus 2 ninths is going to give me plus 2 over 27. And then we're going to have cosine of 3x. And then you got plus a constant of integration, plus c. Now I could leave it like that, but it would be good to tidy it up. It's always good to start with a positive term first of all, so I'm going to look at putting this term first, okay? But then, because we've got all these fractions here, let's select a lowest common multiple of 3, 9 and 27. So that's going to be 27. So I'm going to pull out 1 27th, and then we'll have a bracket here, and starting with this term, then it's got to be just 2 cosine 3x. Okay, and let's go for this term next. I need to multiply the 9 here by 3 to bring it up to 27, so I'll multiply the top by 3, so that's 2 times 3, which is 6. So it's going to be plus 6x sine of 3x there. And for this term here, I need to multiply the 3 with a 9 to bring it up to 27, so therefore 9 times the x squared cosine 3x gives me minus 9 x squared cosine of 3x. Close the bracket there and then put the constant of integration. So, hope you got that right. If you did, well done. If not, hope you've been able to see at least where you might have gone wrong or how to do it now. Okay?